Following Jordan's retirement after winning his sixth championship in Chicago, professional basketball moved on just like it does. After all great players retired, MJ had distanced himself from the game as much as possible, occasionally stopping into the facilities to play pickup games, but trying hard to avoid speculation he would ever make a return. I had my great reign in basketball. No matter what you guys say, if I come and hang around the game, because I still love the game, that doesn't mean I'm coming back. The end of the 90s saw the birth of some of what would be basketball's brightest stars for decades to come. Players like Kobe Bryant, Tim Duncan, Vince Carter, and Allen Iverson all grew to become the faces of a new era in the NBA. And for a competitor like Michael Jordan, who was watching from a distance, this presented a new challenge, only this time. It wasn't on the court. After being away from the game of basketball for almost two years, in January of 2000, Michael Jordan agreed to a five-year deal to become the head of basketball operations for the Washington Wizards. This included a minority stake in the ownership of the team, which was set to raise to 20% if the Wizards exceeded expectations in his time off the court. Jordan had become increasingly interested in running a franchise, even trying to purchase the Charlotte Hornets before the deal fell through. Michael was left with the task of rebuilding a team that had finished with the second worst record in the entire NBA. On April 20th, 2001, the Wizards announced the hiring of 49-year-old Doug Collins to become the team's new head coach. Collins had been the coach of a young Michael Jordan during his early years as a Bull and had been out of the league since 1998. Naturally, this raised some speculation about whether or not Jordan was considering a comeback. Over the course of the offseason, Jordan hadn't made any changes. Besides adding his own former head coach and drafting a promising big man into the roster, some big questions were being raised in D.C. Yeah. This is it, my head. This defines me. The entire offseason leading up to the 2001 season, Jordan had been quietly training to get back into playing shape by inviting many of the top players from around the NBA to compete in organized pickup games. 